On Friday, September, September, and it went out. Hey, Kern County, Megan Pearson, your Director of Countywide Communications, and this week we are here in Veteran Services. They actually have a really cool museum here, uh, so if you ever get a chance to come down and check it out, it's neat. You can't see it, but there's uh, uniforms on display over here that are historical, so it's, it's pretty cool. We also want to highlight a Veterans Resource Fair that's happening on September 11th at the Bakersfield Harley-Davidson, which is out off of Merle Haggard. And it's from 3 to 6 p.m. They'll have resources for veterans there as well as food by donation. So if you are a veteran and you're needing any kind of assistance, be sure to go out there and check that out. And uh, again, that's on September 11th from 3 to 6 p.m. Ridgecrest is hosting their Parade of a Thousand Flags. So at 8.30, they'll assemble at Sierra Lanes. The walk will start at 9 and they'll end up at Freedom Park. The flags will stay there for several days, so be sure to go by Freedom Park and check it out. There's a lot of other events happening. If you're interested, you can check out the Ridgecrest Area Convention and Visitors Bureau for more information. Next up, we have a really cool thing that the Kern County Superintendent of Schools works on. It's called Do the Math. It's a live math program where stu local students can submit their homework issues and they'll have other students who are live on air uh, helping them work through that. It's a really fun program. It's actually produced by local students and they get exposure to that. It's really fun. Uh, so you're, if you're interested in more information, you can check out the Kern County Superintendent of Schools website. It's called Do the Math and you can get all the channel listings and information on when it airs. Our next event is on Friday, September 6th. Supervisor Zach Scrivener is hosting a Movies in the Park up at Fraser Mountain Park. They're watching Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. The movie will start at 8. There's a resource fair before that that starts at 6.30. We'll have folks like Behavioral Health and Recovery Services, Animal Services, and a bunch of other county departments, as well as other local nonprofits uh, and community partners who are all there to provide resources. So if you're in the area of Fraser Mountain Park, so if you're in the area on Friday, September 6th, at Fraser Mountain Park, go by and check it out. It'll be great for the community. And again, that's put on by Supervisor Zach Scribner. Our last event is Gone to the Dogs 5K Fun Run and Walk. That's up in Tehachapi at the Meadowbrook Park. That's on Saturday, September 7th from 9 a.m. to noon. If you want more information, the Have a Heart Humane Society is hosting that and you can get more information with them. They'll have a petting zoo, animal adoptions, food, crafts, and they'll also be hosting a memorial butterfly release, which is really cool. You can release a butterfly in somebody else's honor. So make sure you get out to Tehachapi this weekend and check that out. Our last item is a reminder that September is Emergency Preparedness Month. And in light of that, we want to remind everybody to make sure you have three days worth of food and water, that you keep your car full of gas or at least at a half tank and that you have a go bag. Uh, make sure you have a plan for your family and that you've shared all that and everybody knows where to go. We would also recommend that you participate in uh, Ready Kern and Smart 911. Ready Kern is a program that will give you alerts in the event of an emergency and Smart 911 is an amazing way for you and your family to notify first responders of any in important information that they need to have should they have to respond to your home. It's not just for individuals and families, it's also for facilities. So if you are a business owner, a school, a large organization, you can certainly upload your information as well. Last, we wanna thank all of the folks here at Kern County Veterans Services. They do an amazing job supporting our local veterans and providing services all day, every day. They're always out in the community uh, participating and we're so grateful that they hosted us today and uh, that they're doing all the great work that they are. So that's this week around the county. We hope you have a great week and we'll see you next time.